What is going on guys, Eagle Aquatics back here and in today's video I'm going to be coming at you with another update on the 125 gallon mixed reef tank. Uh, this tank's been up for about two months now. Um, go back, check out that playlist. Got everything, the whole build and everything, all the updates. And uh, go follow me on Instagram before I start the video for exclusive content not seen on YouTube. Uh, go follow me there, at Eagle Aquatics. Uh, no spaces, no capitals. Just plug that in, give me a follow. Um, so as always, I'm gonna take you around, look at the main livestock, the fish, the coral, the new stuff. Have been getting a few new things over the uh, last week. Just got back from vacation, that's why I haven't been uploading that much. Um, but there will be more videos coming out. So let's start with the right side of the tank. We got the big bubble tip up here. Uh, if you guys remember when I added this guy, he split and I sold the other piece of him. So here is the other side of him. Looking great all the way at the top, getting the most light he can. And then there's the maroon clown, the mascot of the channel right underneath him. Um, here is the tube anemone colony right here. There's the big white tube anemone looking great in the corner. Uh, there's the black one and then there's a little, he's not out right now, but there's a little green and pink one down there. Reason they're in the corner is so they're not in the front and they don't sting everything because these guys get giant uh, at night and they have a potent sting. Um, so that's why I put them in the corner. I still think they look awesome over there. Uh, here's some pavona coral, my pavona coral colony, uh, growing pretty nicely, branching off. You can see them starting to spread over that rock, looking good. There is the skunk cleaner shrimp, claimed his territory over here. He stays mostly by the anemones over here, looking great. Here are a few lobophilia corals I got from work, I get a discount if uh, they're dying. I'm trying to bring them back to life. Uh, they'll look pretty cool if they do. Um, just a few lobos, there's a red and then there's a, uh, I think a green and a red one. See if they come back, keep you guys updated. Uh, here's, you know I don't keep a lot of zoas, so I figured why not in this tank? They might look really cool. So I got my first one yesterday. These are uh, not too good on the very like nicknames for these guys. Uh, but it's a nice pink, and it's got like four, a colony of four right now. They'll probably spread pretty quick, but I plan on making this whole rock zoas, different color zoas. I think it'll look pretty cool. Uh, there's my red monopora. Came back to life. When I added him in here, he was pretty much all white. I uh, put him down low in the tank under the Zet light, and uh, he came fully back. Now he's all red and grown again, so looking great. Uh, my big colony, uh, original colony of green star polyps. The white eye green star polyps. Looking awesome. Got the nice flow on them. They look really good right there. Here's a new one. It's a fox coral. Now I just added this guy yesterday. That's why he's not completely open. He gets a little bigger than this. Um, but I've always wanted to keep one of these corals. And I think he's going to look awesome um, when he fully opens here. Just a really cool coral. Looks like a bunch of cauliflower uh, mashed up. And I glued him to the side of this rock. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. And then there is the sea fan, blueberry sea fan. This guy's growing pretty fast. He likes a lot of flow and he's always open, so pretty cool to keep. There's another discounted one I got from work. I'm pretty sure it's a type of chalice coral. Not too sure. Doesn't have too many colors. Uh, it's mostly like purple, a little bit of meta metallic blue. I think this guy's gonna come back. So I'll keep you guys updated on him too. Here is my meteor shower Cyphastria, growing like crazy on this rock. It is just completely taken off. It looks wicked at night. Uh, whole original plan was to have him take over this whole rock and he's on his way. So it's look, gonna look great. Uh, there's a little Gonostrea brain coral frag uh, down in the sand and there's a little Fabia frag you guys know those 
not too much to talk about there. There's another colony of green star pops trying to, trying to make them take over this whole awesome rock. I think it'll look great. So they're starting to take off now. Um, starting to spread pretty quickly. I've been feeding them. Uh, so they're looking really good. And then if you can see, there's my pink tuxedo urchin back there. Love that dude. There are my branching uh, lobophilia corals. Got an awesome orange to them. And uh, really nice looking. Love those things. Uh, trying to get rid of the blue on the camera. Here's my orange, neon orange fungia. Uh, plate coral. Looking great down there. Uh, here is my original. Uh, well, so folded brain coral, purple and green one, looking great, open and giant in the cool spot I put them. Here's my uh, bunch of euphelias up here, the neon green splatter hammer, uh, the gold hammer. That gold hammer's been splitting heads like crazy. He's probably got three or four now. Started with one. There's the green purple tip hammer, and the neon green purple tip frog spawn. These guys are doing excellent under the Zet light. Splitting heads like crazy. Better than they were doing in my 60 gallons, so. Eventual idea with these, have them grow into each other, I think it would look awesome. Here is Worldwide Corals Inscribed Monopore Cap. Uh, it's like a, almost a watermelon orange with a sweet green line going through it. When this thing grows out, it's gonna look insane. Uh, it's almost covered the whole frag now. He's actually growing pretty quick. Uh, so hope to have him go pretty big. I think it look awesome. Overhang this rock, look insane. Here's my colony of candy cane corals. The blue candy canes and the greens. Uh, put them in a little bit lower light under this cave right here. They're doing absolutely good. Uh, but yeah, love those guys. Uh, there's my two feather dusters, the black and white one, and then the uh, maroon and white. Looking awesome. There's that little Duncan coral. He's still, he got stung by a few other corals, that's why he's so small, but we'll see if he comes back. There's the green Ganapora, open and giant. Looking great. Right there, I like the the way the flow makes them look, it looks pretty cool. There's a bird's nest colony, the blue bird's nest. My colony for my 60 gallon died pretty much. Just snipped these guys off and they're growing perfectly fine up there. There's an acro. Uh, my first, I've kept this guy for a long time, always wanted to try him. I'm loving it. Uh, he's not the greatest quality acro. It's more like a brownish purple. But that thing is growing like crazy. It's the fastest growing coral in this tank easily. And uh, I might have to get more of those. I think they're awesome. Here's a new one. A wild, tan, almost gold torch coral. A branching one. He's got like three heads. Picked him up the other day. I think he looks pretty cool in this corner over here. Definitely like a him. Here is that wicked uh, chalice coral. Uh, almost, I like to call it cotton candy uh, colored. He's starting to play over these rocks. Starting to grow in nicely. If I could grow that guy out, and look insane. And then there's a purple frog spawn down there. Thick branch variant, uh, looking great. And then here, they call this, I picked this guy up yesterday, a Sierra Mist Wasophilia. Uh, so cool. The colors on this thing are awesome. The neon, the most neon green in this tank. It just, a sick coral. Looks completely awesome. Get close up on this guy. So cool. I love the Welsos. I got a soft spot for them. They're so cool. I want to get a few red ones also. And there's my red Ganapora. Uh, he closes up every now and then. He's closed right now, but he's actually pretty big. And he's, he's been growing pretty good. 
but uh, he'll he'll close up completely if he gets scared by a fish or something, which is probably what happened. But I like that coral too. Here's this guy. I'm blanking on the name right now. Um, oh, it's Leptosiris, orange Leptosiris. Plating really nicely over these rocks. Liking them. And I'll show you guys the fish. There's the Melanaris wrasse chasing himself in the glass. Love that guy. Every time you dig in the sand or move some corals around, he's always right there inspecting the try to eat little bugs, copepods, and stuff like that. Just a super cool fish to keep. Gotta make a care guide on that guy. Um, here's a new one. This is a blue jaw triggerfish. Uh, always wanted to keep one of these. I think they're so cool. The reason he's hiding is because that guy. My purple tang. And he's still scared. He hasn't been in here for long, maybe four days. Uh, but my purple tang's a real jerk. Ever since I added him to this tank, He's been becoming extremely aggressive towards all my fish and me, chases me around too. Uh, so this is probably the last time you're going to see him because I'm going to try to get rid of him, try to sell him. I know, but I don't want any aggression in my tank. Try to have the least aggression as possible. So he's going to go because he's bullying my blue jaw trigger and a lot of my other fish. So yeah. I don't go for that. So, there's my coral beauty, the one-eyed coral beauty angelfish, looking great as always. And there's the maroon clown I showed you guys. Uh, there's the coral banded shrimp back there, growing great. Uh, that guy, this little chromis. I was at Petco the other day, they only had one chromis left. Felt bad for him, had to pick him up. Uh, I'm, don't worry, I'm gonna get a big school of them because I know they don't do good alone. Uh, so I plan on getting like four or five more. I think it'll look really good. And then digging right here, you might be, not be able to see him. I can't even see him right now, but I know he's in there. Is a pearly jawfish, a yellowhead pearly jawfish. Uh, always wanted to keep one of these fish. I think they're so cool. Um, so I hope he digs. He's, he hasn't been in here for long, maybe two days. So I hope he digs a really cool burrow and uh, guards it like they're known for. Can't wait to see that. And then I just seen him, that white-tailed dotty back. That guy's super cool. Uh, he's in there, right there. He's got a really cool personality in it. The uh, patterns and the shape of him is really cool. Um, so yeah, guys, I'll go down to the refugium too. Uh, copepods are starting to colonize in here, and I also got the chato growing really nicely. Added a power head for some flow because I was getting a lot of cyano in here because the lack of flow. So I added a power head. Got the uh, mangrove roots and a bunch of rubble and the marine. And of course, got the marine pure black in here. And. Uh, there's also been a lot of, all oh my, that dry rock I uh, started with is all cured now, and there's a ton of coralline algae starting to grow everywhere. So, that's definitely looking great on the power heads too. So yeah, the tank has been doing great. Uh, new lights are working out perfectly. Uh, everything's going pretty good so far. So I'll keep you guys updated. I'm gonna be stocking this thing like crazy uh, come the next couple months. Uh, keep you guys updated along the way. Keep posting on Instagram. Uh, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to like, comment with any questions, what you guys think of this. Uh, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.